hello friends hope you all are doing good and in today's video uh, we are going to see that why this time like right now it's the best time to learn anything and uh, why there is a fear of recession and how you can kill it okay so let's start before i start uh, let me tell you that recession is nothing but uh, let's say initially there were 100 organizations uh, who have their slots open for qas and right now they are at 50 or maybe 40 so there is a hiring freeze or anything else so the thing is that previously there was 1000 uh, students 1000 professionals uh, applying for these 100 jobs and now these 1000 will apply for these 50 so the competition goes up and that's how like uh, uh, you call it recession okay uh, because as the seats are going to move down the competition will rise agree so in this video we are going to see that how as a qa professional you can like learn the right things in the right way and this is the best time so what happens like uh, let me give you an example that at the time of covid okay just when covid started in uh, 2020 so for the one year like uh, for 2020 uh, march till almost uh, like end of the year till december 2020 so there was no hiring and everyone uh, everything was on still on hold so everyone thought that okay this recession will go on for long but as you can see 2021 was the year of jobs so i have seen guys uh, who hasn't switched in last 10 years switching in this time including me also okay but as we move towards uh, 2022 and so now again this uh, fear of recession and actual recession is going i can see the number of jobs going down okay but again so what happens is that those guys uh, who have made use of this time they switch back here and now if you are not like if you are uh, if you work like good and if you know the right process then whenever the jobs maybe in 2023 in the second quarter okay so whenever the job markets will open so at that time you will be ready to like switch okay so there are certain points which i would uh, which i would like to discuss that pick the right path don't jump from here to there so i get so many queries that sir right now i'm in manual so should i move to salesforce or should i move to rpa see guys there is nothing wrong there is no right or wrong path like every path is good but you have to see uh, like whatever you do you ha you have to be like in the top five percent at least okay so like my motive of saying the top five percent is that whatever you do do it good see salesforce is equally good rp is also good even manual testing is also good but like you have started your manual testing part okay you have spent like one month here and after that when things uh, started to build up uh, started to heat up you think of see uh, i can see that there are 10 job openings in salesforce so let me switch to salesforce so this approach doesn't always actually work and when you move to salesforce so after spending one month there you will feel like no this is not my uh, my cup of tea so let me move to rpa okay so this is uh, the thing which i have seen guys doing so please don't do it like pick your path like do your research pick your path i have created a lot of videos on how like in six months you can learn um, uh, automation like with manual and automation testing just complete the process build at least two to three frameworks get your hands dirty and after that you can jump to anything else okay and one more thing when after you have learned automation try to switch job and pick up pick up an organization and there try to learn whatever you want to learn okay either learn cloud or learn rpa whatever you want to do just just pick this pot okay and uh, then you can learn anything okay one more thing that uh, try to learn every week so make a weekly plan and schedule your uh, weekly we are like your days in the week in such a way that you at least uh, like make your plan and uh, stick to it okay and this is this comes under consistency that if you learn two hours daily so 
that is greater than uh, learning eight hours on weekend agree so this is the thing and one more thing that like find good mentors okay there are a couple of udemy courses couple of live classes and uh, i have created a separate video on the top uh, like best udemy courses in like manual testing api then automation so whatever field you would like to take in uh, testing so there is a best course okay and according to i have uh, like there are some free resources also so you can check them out also and plus try to uh, like take those courses just don't wander on youtube right because what happens that uh, on sunday morning we will uh, try to learn from youtube and uh, in the evening we will learn and uh, we will uh, like next we will keep it for next week only so don't do that mistake i also like take uh, classes not exactly classes but if you have to take any advice uh, like below is the link in my description box so you can book your time with me i can guide you what all the best resources are for you in the testing field okay again I have seen like four page resume for six year old guy. Don't do that mistake. And once uh, you have learned that basics of automation and once you are comfortable in automation, apply for jobs. That's the best way to test yourself that whatever you have learned, is it good or uh, like you still need an improvement and don't focus on hundred percent. So there is a quote that uh, don't let best uh, the like don't let uh, don't let uh, best be the enemy of uh, better okay try to achieve 80 percent once your 80 percent syllabus is complete in automation or manual testing and then like go for jobs go and apply to couple of jobs and uh, before that try to improve your resume okay and maybe you can do certifications in istqb so i have uh, made a separate video on the same uh, regarding whether istqb is good for not okay and uh, like let's say in march 2023 so make this your aim and you still have like six to seven months to go and uh, once you start learning this is this is the perfect time for you to learn and uh, get your dream job that's all i can say and i'm also planning to start a series on the uh, coding like questions for QA because uh, like every interview you will be tested on your coding skills okay so let me write that my next series will be on the coding for QA I hope it is visible yeah it is visible and keep track of your progress that uh, okay in the, in initial one month I am going to learn the automation framework part after that one more month for the rest assured api i think and after that like one month you need to consolidate all because once you start giving the interviews then only you will get to know that at what level you are and what improvements you need okay and in that like coding is also important part like questions collection frameworks and couple of other things okay so see this is a three month plan and believe me it's very easy to say three months but uh, when you start learning it will uh, it will stretch to four to five months okay and um, here like you will be ready and once the job markets uh, job market opens up then this is the right time for you to switch so i hope uh, i have made this video useful for you and still uh, if you have any doubt just comment down below or uh, like book the time with me and the link is in the description box and maybe from next week what i'll try to do is that uh, like take one or two programs in a in a single video and we can discuss on the same okay so thank you guys thank you for your time